Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can design a late slide rest in KTMV5. In this whole tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can design the different parts of the late slide rest. For example like the compound slide base, the screw spindle etc. And by this tutorial I'll be completing the design of each part and this is the last part that is the uh, design of the 11th part that is the hex screw which you can see over here. On the left side you can see the different drawings of the different parts of the late slide rest assembly. And our hex screw drawing is over here so I've just zoomed it in. Now let me just show you the part which we're going to design in this tutorial. So this is a part and to design you need to go to start mechanical design part design and name the product and space hyphen space part number space the product the part name that is the hex screw so you named it well and now click OK and we got the new drawing file now now to start off select the XY plane here click on the sketch and create a circle there and give a dimension of 6 diameter come out and do a padding of 18 now select this face here and give sketch this time cre create a hexagon so hexagon will be available in the rectangle drop down and now give the sides a 6 because our hex screw is of 6 it's M6 and give a thickness of 6 again <coughs> now what you want to do is you want to select this plane here come into the sketch so before doing that select this face here and create a circle which is going to be tangent with the different sides of the hexagon but one side if you do is sufficient otherwise it's going to be all constrained alright now select this face here come into the sketch and create make sure that you are selecting the face through which you can see the three sides of the three different sides of the hexagon and the other way you won't be able to see the three sides so just select this circle here and use this line and give ex ex you know just uh, expand a line from there and give a dimension of 30 degrees that'll be sufficient just make sure that you're making this as dotted lines and come out and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select this and go for wireframe and surface design workbench and use the revolve command with respect to the z-axis in 180 180 and we got uh, the surface over there now come back to the part design if you have noticed uh, in my uh, channel there is a hex nut how to do the hex nut tutorial it's uh, very much similar to that split and just select the surface there and reverse it and we got the portion removed and click on the hide and hide the unwanted lines and curves etc and that forms our hex screw which is the last part of our late slide rest and in the next uh, next part of our tutorial series we'll be showing you how you can assemble all the parts together and finally form the late slide rest assembly 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any doubts or clarifications regarding this, any of the steps involved in this particular tutorial, please comment below on this video and I'll be getting in touch with you. And if you have any CAD projects, please feel free to write to me at ktia.pro.user at gmail.com. ctia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting in touch with you. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorials. Thank you.